It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. Goodbye, everyone. I'll remember you all in therapy. <sighs> dark times indeed. Dark, dark, dark times. All right, well, we're off to a one and three start. And uh, yeah, it's not looking too good. I can't say we're unfamiliar with this as Dolphin fans, but it's just still disappointing nonetheless and there's definitely not going to be as much energy in my voice because i'm doing this right after the game and uh yeah i, I probably feel just about how the team does right now just kind of dead disappointed like just not having the season we were hoping for which again it's not new as a dolphin fan but is there any way at all we can salvage the season and still make playoffs especially with the bucks coming up next yeah i mean the the schedule does actually get pretty favorable after the bucks game because the games really aren't actually that hard after that you just have to play the rest of the nfc south saints are kind of on and off panthers are all right falcons not the best but not the worst either then you got the rest of the AFC South, which is honestly doing <laughs> pretty bad. So, um, you know, it's it's there. It's It's got a chance. Tua also has a chance to come back and prove us wrong. And with the constant criticism and hate that he has, you know, it could just be extra motivation for him to play better and, you know, possibly bring some life to this offense. Because that's the thing. The defense, you know, the stat line's going to make it look like the defense is bad this year. But to me, it's pretty obviously that they're just on the field for too long. Like, that's the thing you got to be careful about as a defensive team. If your offense is out there for too long, the defense pretty easily gets tired. And, you know, eventually your offense just has to help out. So, you know, offense just maybe with Tua and they better play calling too. They've been pretty bad at play calling. You know, just if they have better play calling and Tua goes out there with some extra motivation, it could keep the offense out there for longer and then the defense would play better. Um, and then as, you know, that's just kind of the name of the game here is motivation. Brian Flores is getting to a point where he's on the hot seat. I still don't think it's his fault, but like he's getting to that point. Chris Greer, I think, is definitely on the hot seat. There's just a lot of people whose jobs are kind of about to be on the line here. That's got to be some sort of motivation, right? And you're about to play the Super Bowl champs. Like, surely you'll have a, you know, some sort of game plan there. And then the last thing I'll put, it's probably for a separate video, but maybe it's time to go out and get Deshaun Watson. At least it brings in a type of spark and you get QB play that you at least know is good. Now he needs some time to, you know, get used to the playbook, but... You know, but that's all I got. There's a chance, but it's just, oh gosh, it's just kind of one of those dark, disappointing seasons at the moment. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I know, I know, it's frustrating. This season has just not gone off to the start we hoped for. But I guess if there's anything, the Dolphins, anytime they have a good season, they start one and like four or something like that. 2016, they were one and four. 2020 they were one and three so i i guess it's not all over but i don't know we'll see we'll just kind of see but let me know what you guys think in the comments below and until next time fins up